Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your April 1st through 7th general weekly read. This is where I pull some oracles regarding all areas of your life, whatever wants to come up, and also love. Alright, let's jump right into this for my Sagittarians. <clears throat> what is coming up? What is the energy surrounding my Sagittarians? Spirit, please be clear. double braid today i'm just checking it out it's hard to always have your hair done for these videos and i always go to the gym can't wait for the summertime when it's 100 degrees 100 percent humidity all right the four direct angels of the four directions okay so for some of you who are very spiritual um know that you are being guided right now you are being safe protected um the angels are around you um, and it also could be reminding some of you to connect with your angels around you, okay? Friends and colleagues, reconciliation of some sort, okay? So there's some people, there could be some, um, a lot of people around you this week, okay? But you also could be going through a reconciliation or um, just a reunion too, a reunion of old friends and, and, and people. And you may meet somebody there that sparks interest in you as well. Right? We have true love. So I say that. You have two fours. Four is already coming out for you. Four, four, four. And we have three. Three has been um, really big too. So it looks like they're possibly this. You could be doing something this week. Collaborating. Um, I'm not collaborating. Um, reconciling or having a reunion or just getting together. And this is where you either reconnect with your true love or... Um, or uh, you meet somebody there that is your true love, okay? It's a good start. Good start, Sag. Maybe one of your friends or your colleague is the one. And you never really considered it until now, maybe? All must have prizes. So it's saying trying to please everyone. The number 13, one of my favorite numbers too. Okay, and then three plus one equals four. So there's your third four. Trying to please everyone, Sag. Is that what you're doing? This could be just an awareness. Awareness for some of you that... um. It's all about you. You can't be trying to please everybody in your life at all. It's all about you. Okay. Um, maybe just take a look around in your life right now and see where you're constantly trying to please somebody. And it would, no matter what you do is making this person happy or making the people around you happy. This could be family. This could be friends, coworkers, lovers. Okay. But take a look around at who's pulling your energy. It's time to pull it back, okay? Look closely, ask questions, and think before acting and investigate, okay? So that could be for some of you too. Just really look closely around you and see what the heck's going on um, and see who's pulling your energy. Um, you can't please everybody. Everybody knows this. I get one more of these and we're going to go right into tarot. My energy has been so mellow um, since the Libra full moon. It's still in effect here. So um, sorry if I seem a little bit more chill. <laughs> Your sensuality is beautiful. So somebody finds you very, very, very attractive. Um, this kind of reminds me of uh, that page of cups. Somebody is really um, attracted to you. You may not know this. And they find you very beautiful and they want to possibly um, let you know this, message you. They're having um, feelings for you. 
And this is where I was going back to that. Um, you may not know, it could be somebody around you that um, feelings could be just starting to uh, spark between the two of you and you didn't see it coming. You didn't see it before. All right, let's take a look now at Tara. Show me Sagittarius' love life. One more shuffle. I know you can't see the cards with this setup, but I trust that if you're on my channel, you trust me. And I always show you the cards. And I always will be honest. People don't like that. <laughs> they don't always like that. A barrier. So there is some sort of wall or something in between a situation here. Received. You've received some sort of knowing or message. That's why I was telling you your angels are around you. Spirits, are, Spirit guides are around you. Okay. Or you will receive some sort of message. Okay. And we have forgiveness. Forgiveness. Okay. So there currently is no contact with somebody. I'm getting this strongly for some of you. Um, there's definitely been a block or no contact. You may receive messages of, of somebody asking for forgiveness. Okay. And that's these messages of love coming in for you. Somebody really kind of lurking and watching you and um, still thinking about they're still in their feelings about you okay sagittarius they're still it could be a cancer by scorpio but they're definitely um they're they definitely have a lot of feelings for you and now i'm starting to feel like this could be a reconciliation um and you may not expect it you could be out with friends you could be going somewhere with friends or family or re or a work party or something and um the two of you uh, reconcile and this is true love for you this is definitely a true love situation. All right, let's take a look at the situation. So strong messages of forgiveness. Get one more shuffle. All right, destined opportunities. This is faded. This is your energy, okay? Unexpected too. You may not know this is coming. This could be an unexpected message of forgiveness. May not have seen this coming. I, five of pentacles here. Okay, so you've been sort of isolated and alone from this situation and sort of left out. And, and maybe you've been blocked for a while. Somebody's blocked you. So you don't expect to receive these messages of forgiveness. All right, Divine Masculine. This could be your twin flame here. Somebody that you want to make peace with. And you want to plan something with this person for the future. You saw this. You saw this person as your twin. You saw them as somebody that you could really plan a future with. In the past, four cups, missed opportunities. For some reason, it just didn't get off the ground. Didn't go anywhere. Three of wands in reverse for the crown and energy. You're almost tired of waiting. You feel like it's not happening. It's not coming in. This isn't going to happen. You may be at a place of almost letting go. There's your other three, two, threes. Threes and fours. In the near future, 10 of swords in reverse. So a completion, an ending. There was a painful ending with this in the past, but it's coming back. Somebody's coming back around. It's over. That cycle's over. Something new's beginning. All right. Page of Pentacles. What you should do. Page of Pentacles. 
possibly initiate contact. What you should know, Ace of Wands, Spark. This is a new beginning. The two of you want this. The two of you are thinking about one another. So, you, you know, this... I'm feeling like with the Page of Pentacles, but what you should do is take it slow when this person does come in. But don't hold back too, too much. Definitely, definitely express yourself, but be cautious, okay? But that's what you should know, though, is that there's a lot of attraction here between the two of you, and this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. All right, your, your um, hopes, fears, blocks, planning, and initiating contact, okay? So this is a block. This has been a block, the contact here. Um, sort of staying hesitant and not taking the, um, and not initiating contact and moving out of your comfort zone. Okay, so you may be afraid that this isn't going anywhere, which is why you have the three of ones in reverse. All right, it's a fear. But now what this is also saying is once this person does come in to end the stress here, to end and to reconcile, and, and this is, you know, sort of like an apology. Um, it's time to get out of your comfort zone and actually plan and take action, okay? Possible outcome, Knight of Wands. All right, passionate adventure. Making that decision to move forward, making that decision to, um, to not, to just get out of your comfort zone when this person comes back in. And the two of you are moving forward um, into some passionate nights, okay? <clears throat> very passionate. The two of you are very, very romantic. Um, I mean, very physically and sexually attracted to one another. And possibly could be twin flames, okay? The Knight of Swords here too, decisive action. So you have the Knight of Wands and the, and the Knight of Swords. So it's really, really being clear about what you want and taking action, initiating contact, um, or just taking that adventure after this person does contact you and moving forward. There you go. That's pretty clear and cut to the dry, I mean, cut, um, cut and dry. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that. You do have, um, you've been blocked, but you have somebody messaging you. You'll be receiving messages of forgiveness, unexpected messages of forgiveness. And if you approach this, um, cautiously, but honestly, and you get out of your comfort zone and decide to move forward with this, this is going to move, um, you guys are very much in your heads about one another and very passionate about one another. This is, this is going, this is true love. This is somebody, a deep connection that could end up, it's not showing foundation here just yet. So we're not talking about um, commitment. We're not talking about um, stability just yet. We're talking about passion. Passion being reignited, okay? Passion will be reignited. All right, guys, I love you. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when I go um, on with lives now because I'm doing a lot more lives lately. Um, I find them more fun and interactive. Um, but do leave comments down below. Let me know if the messages resonate. I'd love to hear from you guys. All right, no extended today. I am, um, this was pretty cut and dry for you. Okay, I love you guys. Take care.